What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. In this video. Hi, what's your name? Why are you running away? What's your name? Oh, I have no name. You have no name? No, no. <laughs> oh, well, can you rate me one to ten? I have no name. Yeah, Base. but but what's your name? <laughs> oh. Okay. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa was based on that one. He's like, Nah, I'm not falling for it. Not falling for it. You O F. Girl. It's embarrassing. Good for him for knowing his worth. Who is this? Is this one of those OF girls? That's what it seems like, at least. They, they look like they're, you know, maybe celebrities or influencers or something like that. I think I've seen them before. Me. No. Why? Good. Jordan. Am I ugly? No, just not my type. What's your type? Latinas. I am Latina. <laughs> <laughs> that totally backfired. He's, wishing He's like big booty Latinas, though. We want the ones with the Chucky cheekage. We don't want the ones that are flat backed like that. Daddy looks like he was a carpenter. Uh oh. Goodness sakes. Looks like someone skipped the. Oh my god. Did she not take her medicine? What is up with that? How about new? Car, but I think there's something wrong with it. Every time I open the door, it makes a really weird noise. Like, listen. Out, so that's why you didn't get laid last night, and then you want to sit here and say, oh, we're going to dinner? When I close the door, there's just no more noise. Let's see if it does it again, just for the camera. You're so annoying. You're so annoying, and you never. Your problem is accountability, just like your father. But like, I, I don't know. It's, you know it's a day. nice car, but what's wrong? If that's the kind of is that is that the Urus, the Lamborghini Urus? That's dream car vibes, bro. Man, those Uruses are clean. Never driven in a Lambo. Would love to. Chad, have you ever driven in a Lambo or or ridden in a Lambo or driven a Lambo? Myself as the God Emperor of all that I survey. I am the God Emperor of Santa Barbara. Is that true? <laughs> Tell him, Don't shut down. Don't be a brat. Whoa, and shut down, shut down brat. What's being oh, asked, wow. Is it, what's being brat. Big back, big back. Shutting down. Is it true? Little... Is it true that he I am the God sec. Emperor of Santa today? Barbara if I see myself as that? Yes. No. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Because that's something that. How about new? You say whatever you say. You're entitled to your opinion, but that doesn't mean it's true. Like yeah, that's, that's right. what you think. It doesn't mean it's true. You're entitled to your right. opinion, but it doesn't mean it's true. So if I think that true. I'm a nine and you don't think that it's true, then that's fine. But I think that I'm a nine. The question refers. You're not a nine. And that's the bottom line. Part two is how you see yourself. What would you rate yourself? Break it down. Dissect it. That's what it. Mean. That's what we're doing right now. We're breaking it down and dissecting it. And so that we're asking you, if you're a nine and nobody else is writing themselves as a nine, are you delusional? Am I delusional? Let's ask the table. Am I delusional for thinking that I'm nine? Like you. Other women will not hold themselves or hold other women accountable. The thing is, women change their mind or their environment to fit their mindset. Men change their mindset to fit their environment. The thing is, women, y'all don't regulate each other. This big back, big back, big back can get on here and say she's a nine, knowing darn well she ain't a nine, maybe on the Richter, but she ain't a nine, and the other girls won't tell her she's not a nine. She's like, they're just going to be like, girl, you're beautiful. Don't worry about it. That's why you can go up to a girl and say, do you think Lizzo is beautiful? And I almost biggity bet you they're going to they're gonna say, yeah, Lizzo's beautiful. She's she's a 10. And if you turn around and just say, you know what? I think you look like Lizzo. Fired. She's going to not take that as a compliment. I almost promise you. You is going to lie. The table was real quiet. Bro, Andrew was cooking. Get this man a chef hat because he is cooking. Middle name must be Gordon. <laughs> Andrew's great, dude. Since I get the cute one. What? The cute one. What you guys to decide? The cute yeah. one. Aren't you? Back, back, back. Oh my God. Shoot. You're going to need to shoot some I'm not even doing it again. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I dodged the bullet. I dodged the bullet. My man saw the girl he was trying dodged to Dodged a straight up landmine grenade there, buddy boy. Could have got eight up. She looked like she was ready to hit the A gap. The cowboys are calling. They need a linebacker. Men now. We're in Mayfair. Excuse me. Are you
are you guys rich and looking for a wife at all? I'm already married. I'm oh. Married oh, can you have like another wife or? Four, four four is the limit. Oh no, that's such a shame. You've got a very nice car though. <laughs> He's like, I get four. Oh, that was base. brilliant. Oh my God, that's such a shame. He literally has a G Wagon, my dream car. What's a girl got to do to get a G Wagon around here? Maybe actually not have a chest tat, not run around the boulevard looking for men looking to leech off their success. Maybe that's a good start. Maybe go try to build a genuine connection with a man of value. I don't know. Raw meat. Lord have mercy. What is going on? That's raw. But the thing is, with these videos, I don't see none of these women actually swallowing it. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that's not no beef tartare, baby boo. You're not, you're not supposed to be eating that stuff raw like that. Because you can eat tartare, but... Damn, she's straight going to town on that. Me next! <laughs> um, That was gross. I'm sorry, but I could not eat raw, raw meat. I like a medium rare steak. Chat, how do you like your steak cooked? I like a little bit of red in the middle, you know what I mean? But that, too rare. Yourselves tonight. Ten. All my girls are ten. Are you a ten? How would you rate yourself? Are you a ten? Ten. Can the people get a three sixty the outfits? No, 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 no. Can we get the hundred dollars? On camera. Hundred dollars. Lord have mercy. You it's just threw it like two oh, well. seconds ago. Like, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. You three sixty. What would you rate yourself? I say I'm a seven. Good job. I would say y'all sevens too. Like, y'all valid. You said seven? What the? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, let's go. You said sevens too. Y'all valid. Y'all valid. Okay, y'all valid. You will never find a woman that will call her. Bruh, wearing that out? This is what this is what prostitutes used to wear back in the 90s, and now just like everyday girls are wearing this. It's so crazy to me. I got banned from Hilton oh. Hotel no, because I was this. too much. Okay, we're Wait, finished with whoa, whoa, the podcast. Whoa, whoa, Bye. Whoa. How about no? Oh, whoa, <laughs> That's a tease for now. <laughs> So much but wait, there's more. Is there like a hotel? Get the <laughs> out of here. The bed, the mattresses are just screwed up. Every time this chick comes, <laughs> we gotta replace a mattress. They She's have her picture up style. at the Hilton, like, do not serve this person. Props to Hilton Hotel for standing. Oh my. That is gross. To be able to have the confidence to even admit that and not see any shame in it is awful. Would you want a more traditional relationship or would you want to go 50-50? Honestly, it depends on what the job titles are and it depends on what the relationship is between the two people. But honestly, I'm a Christian, so I feel like- The Christians go out dressed like that, leather boots, pretty much a see-through skirt, boobies straight swinging and hanging. <laughs> is that what Christian women do? Traditional marriage is in the Bible where the man is the provider, but a lot of people do 50 50 and it works for them. So it honestly, it's up to the couple well, whatever works for them. So, being that you're a Christian, would you be open to dating a man who wasn't? To be honest, no, just because you have to keep in mind how they're going to raise your kids, and that's what's really important to me. What do you think when you come to the clubs and men look at you? They go, this is a Christian, God-fearing woman, or she's just like the rest of them. I will never. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> meet my man at a club, so I'll never meet my husband out here. Then why are you out there? I'll find my man at church. But do you come here to get attention from men, or? Absolutely not. I look good regardless. So if men give me attention, that's Stupid. on them. But. I'm not here for ma male attention. No, absolutely not. I'm here to have fun with my friends. Honestly, she doesn't even say anything out of... <sighs> I just don't believe it. Because if you were there to just have fun with your friends, you would dress like that, and then you would go to one of your girlfriend's apartments and y'all would just stay there. Why would you need to dress like that and go out in public? Why? If you don't need validation, why? Take a picture on your phone and just look at it later. Obviously... <gasps> you <laughs> son of a... <laughs> <laughs> With the so stupid. Stupid. It's so dumb, bro. <laughs> I matter in a guy. Yes. So we're gonna judge you based on unnatural beauty. Right, I friend? Didn't go makeup. I just got here. So you can't judge guys based on height. Yes. You wouldn't marry him. Wipe off all of my makeup right now. Or take back that height matters. <laughs> she knew she would have to pay for her own drink. Make was she wearing a lot of makeup? I don't know. Personally, I could not tell. <laughs> 
Didn't really look like it. Daddy, he pooped his pants. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you can see the got disappointment cooked. in her eyes and right got cooked by a kid when a kid's cooking you mm -mm -mm. might as well get out the kitchen out of time what well, looks yeah it's not all about looks but i give her what would you, chat what do you give her she's asking one out of ten i give her like a four i just don't like the like the belly tattoos and the fit's kind of mid you don't know me so I can't tell you why she take me on a date. <laughs> <laughs> well, first appearances? Well, looks. Yeah, go on. Go on. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Go on, Wow, man. I'll take that. Thank you. My personality. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he knew a 10 out of 10 wouldn't. Well. <laughs> The way I do the ranking system is based off of relationship marketplace value and sexual marketplace value, and it's a mix of both. You do the median of both. So if a girl's really hot, she she could be a 9 out of 10, or let's just use a 10 out of 10 for a round number, make it easy. But if she's a hot corn star, that makes her relationship marketplace value a 0, so her score comes out to a 5. So when you're rating a girl in your head, don't just look at her looks, look at her personality too, because I've always said this, your appearance is what gets our attention, your personality is what keeps our attention, and your character is what makes men fall in love with you. Uh, retired. Retired. Um, retired. She's the village bicycle. Everyone's had a ride. <laughs> I've only How had can seven bodies. Seven and year. one quarter? <laughs> Jeez Louise, guys. This girl's out here putting Josh Hart numbers. <laughs> <laughs> she's talking about she's a retired. Nah, it's in you, baby. <laughs> You know, you can't retire. And let me tell you something. You can't. Seven and one quarter. Yeah, man, you are still in the league. You're actually shining right now. You know what I'm saying? We're actually going to extend your contract. <laughs> <laughs> I seen her in one video say that she was getting crushed so much. She was just trying to see how many times she can get crushed. So <laughs> oh. no, I can't laugh. she says she wanted to take getting smashed to a higher height imagine your goal in life is to see how how far can i take getting <laughs> seven that's, she's a runner she's a track star that's crazy work now nah, she's still in the league they just extended her contract <laughs> seven and a quarter that's so many bodies bro god that's so many bodies but it be what it be uh, oh my lord for me or bitcoin i'm gonna take the bitcoin yeah, I'm why gonna take you that know that's a scam scam hell no nah. it's like worth 50 grand bro bro i'm yeah. worth 50 mil though look at me you worth a cool maybe i'd say like 25 dollars oh. maybe like uh you can't even buy you, ladies you want to know your worth how much is your only fans every month <laughs> If it's four ninety nine, that's your worth. Like a meal with that. No, I could buy like two Chick Fil A meals with that. So it's not bad, you know. That's crazy. Fifty mil? I'd like to see. Fifty your... mil, baby girl. If you're selling coochie online for nine ninety nine, that's how much you're worth. You're a Big Mac mill at best. Shots fired. What are you talking about? Everyone, this is my first time on the New York City subway. Stupid. <laughs> We don't care. What was she expecting everyone? Nobody cares, bro. The people in New York are savage anyways, bro. They don't care. <laughs> Do you have a phone number? Because I just, I think I just lost mine. <laughs> I thought you were fine. My man took running from the streets quite. <laughs> he looked at her, weighed out his options. He's like, e I'm good. That your boyfriend falling asleep on you. Oh, really? And here I thought that, that would actually be a good thing, considering it's a sign that he's relaxed enough and trusts one enough to actually fall asleep. But do go on with this little tirade. I hope I do wake you up because you're literally the man. Ah, uh, yes. When someone uses the phrase literally, that means that everything that is to follow is going to be absolutely fantastic. Hello. I should be falling asleep first in your arms, being cradled like a baby. And why is that? Because one feels entitled to do so? On top of that, it's scary out here alone in the dark. Still scared of the dark, are we? Perhaps one should have brought a flashlight. Like, you're really just gonna leave me like that? After seeing this, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he left one altogether. It's a sin to- What? You can't fall asleep now? Falling asleep is beta? Good lord, can you imagine? Falling asleep? Red flag or green flag if a girl carries in her purse when she goes out to the club? It's a red flag. Why is Massive. it a red flag? 
Because she's shit. I mean, she's a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. Carrying an overnight bag and condoms, bro, it's a wrap. She's expecting to get to the night. Is that a red flag if she's yes. willing to sleep with someone that she meets at the club? Yes. Um, you know, it's not necessarily a green flag, but we're all people and I guess things happen. But that's not wifey. I, no, I wouldn't no. necessarily say that's wifey. Nope. You wouldn't want your wife to be carried. No, and you also don't meet your wife at the bar or meet your wife at the club. You don't. Taking, taking yondoms? Bro, stop it. <laughs> it's a little excessive. Now I will say <laughs> Yeah, if in she's like, what did you eat today? <laughs> uh, bro chat, let me know. Do y'all get hangry? Bro, I be getting hangry. I ain't even gonna cap with you, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I be getting hangry, man. Then I wouldn't be calling you a bitch. Don't, don't step out of your zone. Stay in your zone. What's meant for you is meant for you. If you're not that that got a big that can handle five different women, and you only that got a, a six a six inch and you can only hand one, you a minute, you... Wait, six is small? <laughs> <laughs> I thought six was big. Dang. You know what you are? Stay in that lane. When you called that man out of his name, even if you feel righteous or you didn't, did it have a positive outcome? To the positive standard that I expected it to be positive? No. But was it positive? And it wasn't worth it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why do women do it? If you call a man out of his name and disrespect him time and time again, he is not going to do the things that you need him to do. We do better with respect. We will do whatever a woman needs for us to do as long as she's submissive and respectful. We are willing to put our lives on the line. I'm willing to die for you, ma'am. If only you could respect me as the man that I am. But the fact of the matter is that when you want to buck up and act like you and luckily my mama taught me not to knock these girls upside the head. I can't hear the shit you saying because you sound like a boy. And I'm wondering why this beautiful woman is talking to me like she's an ugly ass So it's cool to body shame for <laughs> I mean, he's got a mad point, dude. He's got a mad point. Well, the thing is, men want respect and women want love. And ladies, if you can't give a man respect, why is he going to give you love? We're simple creatures, ladies. It's nothing crazy. It's like, yeah, no thanks. I'm good on the hug. I'm good on the hug. Thank you. These OF girls are really getting treated like everyday guys. They really do be thinking they're going out there 10 out of 10s. Honey, you're beat at best. I had a plus size woman comfortably fit in a seat on an airplane. I have to upgrade myself to a first class seat. Otherwise, it's intolerable. My butt still touches the sides of the seats here. It shouldn't have to be this way, yet here we are. Size inclusion isn't just for clothes. It's everywhere. If you ever don't fit comfortably into an airplane seat, remember, it's a problem with the airplane, not you. It's always somebody else's fault, dude. This is why I hate this victim mindset. It's always somebody else's fault. It's never yours. It's never your fault. It's the airline's fault. They they should be size inclusive. Dishing out. They should be size inclusive. You shouldn't lose any weight. So we marched on the hinge. It was first date. We went to theater. He's like... A I'm going to keep it a buck. I, on the front of her dress, I thought she was wearing a Nissan logo. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, man. I'm sorry. Oh, Victoria, I'm going to the restroom. He went to the restroom, and after 10 minutes, he wrote me, Oh, sorry, we can't be together. I'm sorry. I left. <laughs> he left me alone in theater. He just said, I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to the restroom. And he never come back. <laughs> I wonder how bad the uh, What did you do to make this man leave? I feel like most guys would have stayed around. Loki, want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Yeah, what did you do? Did she ever question, what did I do during this date to maybe turn this man off? I just don't get it, bruv. The lack of accountability. And these ladies don't want to be held accountable. But the thing is, is like, you gotta realize that you attract what you are. And life is a mirror, not a window. Put it on a t-shirt. You attract what you are. You keep attracting BS peoples because you're maybe a BS person. Real attracts real. That's why I always say life is a mirror, not a window. Because what I mean by that is your life is a direct reflection of everything that you exude, right? 
if you make a certain amount of money, you probably hang out with those certain people that make this that make that amount of money. They say you're only as successful as the top five people you spend the most time with. So if you feel like you're not progressing enough in your life, go get around people that are doing better than you. I have a mentor, a guy that makes way more money than me, way more successful, a much better entrepreneur. But I lean on him to learn, say, hey, what can I do better? How can I do better? I, I, uh, I have a guy that's like, um, he has a podcast here in town. He's super smart with cameras. He's super smart with gear. I lean on him because he's more of an expert in this stuff than I am, right? You gotta, you gotta lean on people. It's okay to ask for help. Don't be selfish. Don't have an ego. Don't think you can do it all by yourself. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Also, the four steps of style is in there as well. Um, ebooks are absolutely selling like hotcakes, so I really do appreciate you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow. And that's the bottom line. Peace.